Hello everyone. Let us solve uh, one more problem on uh, simply supported beam. So, fair moment of inertia is changing, and uh, this simply supported beam is subjected to uniformly distributed load of intensity 20 kN per meter. Okay. So this figure again we can draw something like this. Okay. Twenty kilonewton per meter. This is point A, point B. So point A to point C, it is here. C to D, it is here. Okay. So A to C, it is two meters. C to D is two meters, but exactly at the center, one meter, one meter. So let us consider this point as O. Okay. Then this point is distance is 2 meters okay a to c it is i moment of inertia c to d it is 2i d to b it is again i so here they have asked us to calculate the slope at point c so here is the point c so this is point c and deflection at mid span so for that purpose we have considered exactly at the center one point okay total ease of span 3 plus 3 6 okay so center means from here it is 3 meters from here it is 3 meters exactly at the center what is the deflection okay so which type of loading it is it is a symmetrical load correct on the entire span it is uniformly distributed load a symmetrical load so let us start with solving the problem so the given problem is real beam the given problem is the real beam then you need to draw the bending moment diagram for this real beam first so what will be the bending moment diagram so when it is simply supported subjected to udl directly you can write or you can draw this parabolic and exactly at the center it is wl square by 8 okay so or else the reaction ra it is total load divided by 2 so w into l by 2 okay you will be getting w is 20 20 into 6 120 120 divided by 2 it is 60 kilonewton so even rb is 60 kilonewton exactly at the center the maximum moment so 60 into 3 minus this udl 20 into 3 into 3 by 2 so again you will be getting the same value what you are getting that is wl square by 8 so if i calculate w is 20 l is 6 square divided by 8 you will be getting 90 90 kilonewton meter okay so again here the moment of inertia is changing so where it is changing and even where we need to calculate the slope we require the areas correct so for that purpose we need to first have the bending moment at this point that is at point d and at point c this is a point b point this is exactly at center o okay what is this height okay so now calculate what is the moment at point c so you know the reaction so cut a section at c consider leftwards which are the loadings 60 is there then this udl is there so sign convention cut a section leftwards if it is clockwise from rightwards if it is anti-clockwise positive so you are now considering left hand side means clockwise so that is ra so moment at c so i will write it here moment at c equal to ra into 2 meters that is 60 into 2 clockwise minus this udl up to c so what is that 20 into 2 20 into 2 the span acting here from here to here distance 20 into 2 into 2 by 2 that is 1 so you will be getting moment at c as 
एटी ओके सिक्सटी वन ट्वेंटी फोर्टी वन ट्वेंटी फोर्टी एट इज एटी सो दिस इज एटी सो सिंस इट इज सिमेट्रिकल लोडिंग सो हियर ऑल्सो टू मीटर्स हियर ऑल्सो टू मीटर्स यू विल बी गेटिंग दिस इज ऑल्सो एटी करेक्ट सो नाउ चेक द डिफरेंट मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शियस फ्रॉम ए टू सी इट इज आई सो मीन्स फ्रॉम ए टू सी इट इज एटी बाय ई आई फ्रॉम सी टू डी इट इज टू आई एक्जैक्टली सी फ्रॉम राइट हैंड साइड टू आई सो इट इज द सेम लाइन सो दिस साइड इट इज एटी बाय टू ई आई ओके सो बी टू डी इट इज एटी इट इज only i 80 by ei again this side exactly at d this side it is 2i so it is 80 divided by 2 ei is it correct okay so from this center it is 90 by so exactly center means it is in the region 2i 90 by 2 ei so now i need to split into standard figures so this figure is standard so we know the area of such type of figure in the beginning while discussing moment error method i had given such type of figure so this it is standard so again this it is something else so we need to make it a standard figure now how we will make it so this height is known this height is same 80 by 2 ai 80 by 2 ai this side so join this okay make a rectangle of height 80 by 2 ai 80 by 2 ei so what is left so this what is this total is 90 by 2 ei so remaining height is 90 minus 80 it is 10 by 2 ei okay so entire thing one you can consider or else this half one figure this half one figure and this entire thing one rectangle or else you can split into this figure this figure okay but we are having all the heights so this type of figure with height 80 by ei this figure with height 80 by ei so this rectangle 80 by 2 ei 80 by 2 ei height so or else only you can consider this this base will change okay and this is again 10 by 2 ei this side also this it is 10 by 2 ei okay so now we need to draw the conjugate beam so for simply supported beam the conjugate beam will be again simply supported beam correct at simple support simple support this is real beam this is m by ei diagram okay and this is conjugate beam Or simply supported, the conjugate beam will be the simply supported only. Correct. So now, what will be the loading on this conjugate beam? The M by E diagram of real beam is the loading on the conjugate beam. Okay. Since it is positive, we need to consider acting downwards on the conjugate beam. Let me draw this again. Okay. This is 80 by EI. This is 80 by EI. So this side it is 80 by 2 EI. 80 by 2 EI. So exactly at the center. Okay. <coughs> Total here it is 90. So only from here to here it is. 10 by 2 ei correct okay so again in conjugate beam so first we need to find the reactions okay so always in simply supported beam by conjugate beam method so in conjugate beam first find the reactions because these reactions are nothing but shear force at a shear force at point b okay nothing but the slope at a slope at b you will be getting 
correct the slope at a is nothing but ra slope at b is nothing but rb directly will be getting what is slope at a slope at b if you find the reaction at a and reaction at b so this is again a symmetrical loading so we need to consider it is acting downwards correct since it is positive so what i will do so since it is a symmetrical beam so reactions these are a and rb r a equal to r b is equal to it is total load divided by 2 correct so i'll calculate the total load and divided by 2 so if i write okay let me write this half outside okay so total divided by 2 the area of this what is the area of this type of figure that is two third of base how much is base this is two meters this is one meter this is one meter this is two meters two third of base into height that is 80 by ei plus what is this or else i will consider entire thing as one so how much is that again base is 2 meters entire rectangle i will consider entire rectangle 2 into height is 80 by 2 ei plus okay then this type of figure what is the area again it is two third of base is 2 meters into height is 10 by 2 ei then again this figure plus two third of base into height 80 by ei okay so write only up to here this total calculation divided by 2 so you will be getting what is ra and what is rb so if you simplify this you will be getting RA equal to RB equal to after doing the calculation you will be getting it is 150 by EI it is 150 by EI so RA is 150 by EI RB is 150 by EI do this calculation you will be getting RA as 150 by EI, even RB as 150 by EI. Okay. So once you get this, so now it is simple. So what you need to find? So directly you can write it according to conjugate beam theorem 1. If you are finding the slope at any point, you need to calculate the shear force. If I calculate the shear force at A is nothing but RA in conjugate beam. So theta A is equal to 150 by EI. Even theta B equal to 150 by EI. Since it is a symmetrical loading, both the slopes will be same. Correct? So 150 by EI, 150 by EI. This is theta A, theta B. So now in the problem, they have asked, what is slope at C and deflection at midspan? Correct. So, slope at C. So, next. Slope at C in real beam is equal to shear force at C in conjugate beam. So point C is where? So point C is here. Okay. So again, either left hand side, right hand side. Which one is better? You are calculating shear force. Shear force is nothing but total vertical force. Either left hand side, right hand side. So if I consider left hand side, this RA and this figure. If I consider right hand side, this figure, this figure, this figure, this figure and reaction. So it's better if you can go ahead with the left hand side. So this theta C is equal to the left hand side only this figure and this reaction so cut a section left hand side if it is upward right hand side if it is downwards positive so left hand side upwards positive ra is 
upwards so 150 by ei then area of this that is minus since it is downwards two third of base is two meters height is 80 by ei correct only this so simplify this you will be getting uh, that is 43.33 by ei radians this is theta c okay so this is theta c so let me tell you one uh, important thing here so you are aware about uh, in moment area method we have discussed one statement what is that so when the symmetrical loading is there the deflection will be maximum exactly at the center when the symmetrical loading the deflection will be maximum at the center and at the point of maximum deflection slope will be zero correct so at the point of maximum deflection slope will be zero suppose if you see in this problem it is symmetrical loading so the deflection should be maximum exactly at point this is o exactly at the center correct so according to that statement at the point of maximum deflection slope should be zero means if i calculate theta naught okay that is slope at o in a real beam is equal to shear force at o in conjugate beam okay if i calculate this slope at o point i should be getting zero value theta o should be zero because at the point of maximum deflection slope is zero just check it okay whether we are getting or no okay so here we are calculating correct so either you consider left hand side either you consider right hand side it, it is symmetrical figure so anyone so if i consider left hand side i will consider upward positive so ra 150 by ei then minus this figure two third of base is 2 into height is 80 by ei then this rectangle minus 80 by 2 ei into 1 minus this two third of base is 1 meters into height is 10 by 2 ei okay just check this you should be getting this one as 0 theta naught should be 0 just check it okay so according to that statement at the point of maximum deflection you should be getting the slope 0 so here and they have asked maximum deflection okay nothing but the deflection at mid span okay so we will calculate deflection at mid span means this point is O exactly the here so what is the deflection okay according to conjugate beam theorem 2 according to conjugate beam theorem 2 so deflection at O in real beam is equal to bending moment at O in conjugate beam correct deflection at O in real beam is equal to bending moment at O in conjugate beam okay so now that is delta O is equal to so either consider left hand side right hand side it is same because all the figure this side and this side same in numbers okay if I consider left hand side so cut a section from left hand side if it is clockwise positive so ra about point o it is clockwise 150 by ei into distance 3 meters then these figures are acting downwards so first figure minus area 2 third of base is 2 meters into height is 80 by ei okay into distance so cz will be somewhere here from here to here what is this from here to here so what is the maximum from the point of maximum height so this is uh, 
थ्री एट ऑफ एल करेक्ट सो दिस इज फाइव एट ऑफ एल दिस इज थ्री एट ऑफ एल इज इट करेक्ट सो लेट मी चेक यस इट इज थ्री एट ऑफ एल दैट इज थ्री एट ऑफ टू फ्रॉम हेयर टू हेयर प्लस दिस इज वन मीटर्स प्लस वन ओके देन दिस फिगर एरिया इज एटी बाय टू ई आई इन टू वन एंड परपन डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम हेयर टू हेयर इट इज वन डिवाइड बाय टू मीन्स पॉइंट फाइव माइनस दिस टू थर्ड ऑफ बेस इज वन मीटर्स इन टू हाइट इज टेन बाय टू ई आई इन टू डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम हेयर टू हेयर इट इज अगेन सेम लाइक दिस दैट इज थ्री एट of l l is 1 meter okay so this such type of figure i hope you are remember okay so it will be here from minimum it is 5/8 of l from maximum it is 3/8 of l okay so if you simplify this then delta not no it is exactly at the center You will be getting two four two point zero eight by e yeah, meters two forty two point zero eight by e i yeah. okay so just check with the calculation once again so it has to be correct so solve it once again okay so since it is a symmetrical problem. so one more problem which is symmetrical so try that and even i will be given some assignments so please do this assignment also okay so this first assignment problem simply supported beam subjected to point load okay so let us consider points a b c d so this is 2 meters this is 1 meters 1 meters 2 meters okay so from a to c it is i from c to d it is 2 i from d to b it is i okay similar to previous problem it is also symmetrical loading so do this okay this is real beam then how the bending moment diagram will be We will be getting maximum here. Okay, so what is this height? It is W L by four. So W is fifty into L is total six divided by four. So it is three hundred divided by four. It is seventy five. Okay, so we want the moments here and even here since the moment of inertia. is changing so it is symmetrical loading reaction is 25 25 total load load divided by 2 50 divided by 2 25 so moment at c is 25 into 2 again it is 50 so right hand side 25 into 2 it is also 50 so a to c it is i so 50 by i again b to d is i 50 by i inside it is 50 by 2 i Like previous problem, fifty by two e i. So split into standard, and total is seventy five. So what is this height? So this height will be twenty five by two e i. Correct. So please uh, solve this problem. You can find what is theta c, what is theta d, what is delta c, and what is delta d. so however theta a and theta b will be the reaction at a and reaction at b correct so this is one problem assignment problem so one more assignment problem we can consider consider this as one more assignment problem
this is point A, point B, point C, point D. So this A to C to I. So this is point O. So it is I. Okay, and this is again two y, two meters. So exactly at the center, one meter, one meter, and two meters. Calculate theta c, theta d, delta c, delta d. Okay, this is one asan problem, and one more. So you can calculate what is delta C and delta D in this problem. Okay, take this as assignment and solve it. Okay, let us solve uh, one more problem. Calculate slope and deflection at free end. Okay, so this problem, so already we have solved by moment error method. If you remember, a simply supported beam with overhang portion, correct? So point A, point C, point B, and this is point D. So this is. Two meters, two meters, two meters. Okay, the given problem is a real beam. This is real beam. So now we need to first draw the bending moment diagram. Okay, so first you need to calculate the reactions. If you take moment about point A equal to zero. Then due to phi and total six due to R C four meters due to twenty two meters force into perpendicular distance force into the perpendicular distance you write a equation so ultimately you will be getting R A as seven point five kilometer similarly if you apply sigma uh, v equal to zero you will be getting R C as 17.5 kN. Okay, so first take moment about a equal to zero, you will be getting RC. Then write sigma v equal to zero, you will be getting RA. Use those two equations. Correct. So refer uh, the moment error method. The same problem we have solved. Okay. So once you get this, the bending moment diagram. How the bending moment diagram? So at point D it is zero. At point C it is five into two. It is ten. So something like this. Then again, so at point A moment is zero, and at point B, so it is R A is seven point five. Seven point five into two. So this is seven point five. This is R C is seventeen point five. Seven point five into two it is fifteen. So you will be getting this one as. 15. Okay, so from here to here you will join, correct? So this is point C. Okay, this is point D. So this is two meters. This we don't know. Total entire thing is two meters, and this is two meters from here to here, correct? So first we should be knowing the length of these triangles. For that reason, we will be assuming x, and this should be 
total is 2 so it is 2 minus x okay so when it is 2 minus x height is 15 meters okay when it is x this height is 10 correct 10 kiloton meter so cross multiplication x into 15 is equal to correct 10 into 2 minus x okay simplify this you will be getting x as 0 0.8 meters okay this x is 0 0.8 meters and 2 minus x is 1.2 meters correct so refer the moment area method we have calculated this okay so then this is m by ei diagram so m by ei diagram the real beam m by ei diagram second step now next conjugate beam so what is the conjugate beam so fair the simple support is there here it will be simple support same so this is important where the support the simple support but there is a overhang portion okay so now it will be acting as internal support okay so this is last support simple support it will be remaining as it is so this support it is now internal support since there is a overhang portion when there is a internal support so that is replaced with internal hinge this is internal hinge correct in conjugate beam so that is replaced with internal hinge this is now free end so here now it will be fixed end okay this is conjugate beam check it once again so simple support last support it will remain simple support so now it is internal support so we need to replace it by the internal hinge so then this is free support it will become fixed like in cantilever correct so now m by a diagram of the original beam will be acting on the conjugate beam correct so if it is positive then it is acting downwards if it is negative it has to act upwards so this diagram is positive this diagram is negative correct so now draw this So this is 15, so this is 0.8, 1.2, this is 2 meters, this is 2 meters and this height is 10 by EI, this is 15 by EI, correct? This is acting downwards, this figure is acting upwards, is that okay? So this is point a this is point b this is point c and this is point d okay so now this is the conjugate beam on the conjugate beam these are the loadings now okay these figures the positive and negative figures okay so what we are finding we are finding at the free end what is slope and what is deflection so theta d and delta d okay so first we need to find this reaction okay so because if you find the slope at point d so if you need to consider the entire left hand side or else entire right hand side right hand side is nothing but rd correct so you need not to calculate this consider left hand side to consider left hand side here this ra is there okay at least that RA should be calculated correct so this is hinge support so you can take moment about C equal to 0 okay to find the reactions in conjugate beam reactions in conjugate beam so if I take moment about C equal to 0 so RA into from here to here it is 4 meters 4 minus this triangle 
half into base is 2 meters into height is 15 by EI into perpendicular distances will be here okay from here to here from here to here is 2 from here to here it is one third of 2 meters one third of 2 plus 2 correct so then this minus half into base is 1.2 into height is 15 by EI into okay CZ will be here from here to here from here to here it is pointed from here to here it is from zero position it is two third two third of 1.2 plus 0.8 correct then these are negative diagrams so they are acting anti-clockwise so minus this is clockwise so plus cut a section leftwards clockwise positive correct you are taking moment at C leftwards RA is clockwise positive this diagram is anti-clockwise so negative then this diagram okay it is clockwise so plus half into base is 0.8 into height is 10 by EI into perpendicular distances will be here from here to here it is from maximum one third of 0.8 correct so simplify this you will be getting RA as 13.33 by EI okay so we'll be getting RAS 13.33 by EI okay so once you find this RA so now so what we are finding at the free end we are finding at the free end so means at point D what is the slope according to conjugate beam theorem 1 slope slope at D in real beam is equal to shear force at D in conjugate beam correct slope at D in real beam is equal to shear force at D in conjugate beam so the conjugate beam is here so theta d is equal to what is the slope at point d oh sorry what is the shear force at d total leftward vertical forces including this reaction correct so if you consider right hand side rd so we need not to calculate left hand side so write one by one so ra ra it is upwards that is 13.33 by ei cut a section leftwards if it is upwards positive correct so ra is upwards positive minus so can i write this entire triangle as one okay so you know it the half into base into height so i'll write that directly so simplify it that time half into base is 3.2 correct 2 plus 1.2 3.2 half into base into height height is 15 by e i correct so then this entire triangle from here to here i will consider it as one so it is acting upwards so it is plus left hand side upwards positive you are cutting a section left hand side upward positive so what is the area of that triangle half into base is uh, 2.8 now here to here it is 2.8 into height is 10 by e i correct so now simplify this theta d so you will be getting theta d as 3.33 by ei okay radians theta d as 3.33 by ei okay so now one more thing we need to find that is free end deflection at point d so now deflection at point d that is according to conjugate beam theorem 2 that is deflection at d in real beam is equal to bending moment at 
टी इन कॉन्जुगेट बीम सो वॉट इज द डिफ्लेक्शन एट डी इन कॉन्जुगेट रियल बीम इज डेल्टा डी इज इक्वल टू बेंडिंग मूवमेंट एट डी इन कॉन्जुगेट बीम सो अगेन सो यू नीड टू कंसिडर ऑल द फिगर्स एंड टेक मूवमेंट सो लेट अस स्टार्ट विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू आर ए द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड ओके करता सेक्शन लेफ्ट हैंड साइड इफ इट इज क्लॉक वाइज देन इट इज पॉजिटिव सो आर ए आर ए इज थर्टीन पॉइंट थ्री थ्री बाई ई आई इन टू डिस्टेंस अबाउट दिस इट इज टोटल सिक्स ड्यू टू आर ए देन दिस फिगर सो आई विल राइट वन बाय वन ओनली सो माइनस इट इज एंटी क्लॉक वाइज सो फर्स्ट ट्राइंगल दैट इज हाफ इंटू बेस इज टू मीटर्स इट इज इंटू हाइट इज फिफ्टीन बाय ई आई इंटू डिस्टेंस अबाउट पॉइंट डी सो इज ई इज हियर फ्रॉम हियर टू हियर सो वी नो फ्रॉम हियर टू हियर इट इज टू मीटर्स देन अगेन फ्रॉम हियर टू हियर इट इज टू मीटर्स मीन्स फ्रॉम हियर टू हियर इट इज टोटल फोर मीटर्स फ्रॉम हियर टू हियर इट इज वन थर्ड ऑफ बेस वन थर्ड ऑफ टू प्लस फोर करेक्ट सो नेक्स्ट दिस माइनस एरिया ऑफ दिस ट्रैंगल इज हाफ इंटू बेस इज नो वन पॉइंट टू इंटू हाइट इज फिफ्टीन बाय ई आई इन टू परपन डिस्टेंस सी जी इज हियर फ्रॉम हियर टू हियर फ्रॉम हियर टू हियर इट इज टू मीटर्स फ्रॉम हियर टू हियर इट इज पॉइंट एट मीटर्स फ्रॉम हियर टू हियर इट इज टू थर्ड ऑफ वन पॉइंट टू करेक्ट सो टू थर्ड ऑफ वन पॉइंट टू प्लस टोटल इज टू पॉइंट एट सो हियर टू हियर टू पॉइंट एट प्लस टू थर्ड ऑफ वन पॉइंट टू सो देन नेक्स्ट दिस डायग्राम इज मेकिंग क्लॉक वाइज सो इट इज नाउ प्लस एरिया इज हाफ इंटू बेस इज पॉइंट एट इंटू हाइट इज टेन बाय ई आई इन टू परपन डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम हियर टू हियर हियर टू हियर इट इज टू मीटर्स फ्रॉम हियर टू हियर इट इज वन थर्ड ऑफ बेस दैट इज पॉइंट एट प्लस टू मीटर्स देन प्लस दिस एरिया इज हाफ इंटू बेस इज टू मीटर्स इंटू हाइट इज टेन बाय ई आई इन टू परपन डिस्टेंस इज इल बी हियर फ्रॉम हियर टू हियर दैट इज फ्रॉम जीरो पोजिशन इट इज टू थर्ड ऑफ टू सो वी हैव रिटर्न ऑल द एरियाज ओके एंड परपेंडिकुलर डिस्टेंस फोर्स इन टू परपेंडिकुलर डिस्टेंस इफ यू सिंप्लीफाई दिस यू विल बी गेटिंग सो अराउंड माइनस जीरो पॉइंट जीरो टू बाय ई आई सो माइनस जीरो पॉइंट जीरो टू बाय ई आई वॉट दिस नेगेटिव साइन इंडिकेट्स द नेगेटिव साइन इंडिकेट अपवर्ड डिफ्लेक्शन करेक्ट इफ यू सी और इफ यू रिमेंबर द मूमेंट एरिया मेथड करेक्ट सो इन मूमेंट एरिया मेथड सो द डिफ्लेक्शन कर वी हैव ड्रॉन ओके हाउ द इलास्टिक कर्व दैट इज